Hey guys, Joppa here. Just want to go over what I've been working on for the last couple days. So, I mentioned before that I want to start working on actually controlling Dwarf Fortress from Armok Vision itself. So, what I originally had in mind was completely replacing the Dwarf Fortress interface entirely with my own, which means not using the door fortress menus or anything at all and instead entirely doing everything uh from our mark vision remotely that would have been really cool and would have been would have been uh paving the way for for example in the future more than one person playing at once or something like that but that turned out to be not really possible it's it would be very complicated to do and i would have to redo all the logic in the control interface that door fortress has for example what items you need for what buildings and so on and so forth so what i'm doing instead is I'm simply taking over the Dwarf Fortress menus with Armok Vision and using that instead to control the game, which means you can't play more than one person at once, but it's actually possible for me to control the game a bit better than uh, what I would otherwise be able to do. So I don't have to reinvent the wheel for a whole bunch of stuff. So you may have noticed I have a couple buttons on the side here. These aren't the final thing, but it's just for, uh, proof of concept testing. So there's a whole bunch of uh, stuff on the side menu from from the game that would normally be there. I just this is just for testing. So let me just put both of the games up at once. Here we go. And now let's see what these buttons do. Designate mine. There we go. It's same as pressing double D in in the game. And then let's see squads, stockpiles, build, check out buildings, orders, hotkeys. Okay. okay. Council doesn't work. I didn't actually test that until this video. But you get the you get the picture. So I am actually going to be having over here my own version of this menu. It's not going to look this, it's not going to look exactly the same, but it's going to be similar enough that actually uh, somebody used to Dora Fortress coming into Armok Vision would actually recognize everything and know where everything where to find everything. It also means that some if somebody for if in the far future armok vision becomes well developed enough that you can just play the game using it and not touching the door fortress screen at all it would be nice but you know uh it means that coming from armok vision into door fortress also would not be a major shock and you would be you know the same muscle memory would work in both ways which brings up another thing that i would have to decide which is keeping or not keeping the door fortress hotkeys right now our mock vision uses your kind of standard wasd layout which it works great for 3d and stuff but it's different from door fortress and it means that many of the Door Fortress hotkeys that would normally be needed for building and selecting and all that and typing wouldn't actually be available because it's taken up by WASD and Q and E and whatnot. Uh, so I have to decide, do I want to keep the current control scheme 
which is comfortable and works well with a mouse? Or do I get rid of it and keep the Door Fortress control scheme? Which you all know and love. Or hate, as the case may be. I know that's a very hot topic. But yeah, that's about it for this week. Thanks all for watching, and thanks for all my Patreon supporters for helping make this possible. I, I really literally couldn't do it without you. And uh, thanks, and have a nice evening.